Hi guys, this is me again Serene and for today's video is my bullet journal setup for October 2019. Our last theme is constellation, so what will you gonna be our theme for today's video? Wanna guess? For those who knows, October is my birth month. Yes, you heard it right. And so the color of the theme of October will be my favorite color. I hope you will like my crystal theme for October bullet journal. It's kinda weird given it's saying that because I cannot believe that it is already October. The fact that it is only 3 months left in this year, which is absolutely so fast, right? Time flies so fast and we cannot even notice the couple of months that just passes by. Sometimes, we say that time is just the worst thing happening, but we cannot stop it. All we can do is make every moment memorable and worth it. I choose the shade of blue, a combination of sky blue and light blue brush pen of Tombow. Whenever I am peeling up the crystal with the shade, it seems like my eyes were having heart on it, something like an emoji. Also, before I come up with this theme, I again look up in the internet what could I put for October. And again, as a fan of Amanda Rackley, I came up to this wonderful crystal theme. Moreover, some other people love crystal theme which even give me more motivation and reason to go right to this theme. Our cover page for October was done. So, let's go right into the next page which will be our image of calendar for October. This will be our personalized calendar. I always love to include this in my bullet journal. If this was not included, then my bullet journal setup wouldn't be complete. It is one of the best things I love when creating my plan. It is just so beautiful for me. Putting it in a two open pages looks really great, isn't it? I just simply write the name October in the upper part of each boxes. I made it very simple but neat and very pleasing to the eye. The area allotted for each day were those boxes or the columns and rows I've made. It is then divided through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at the upper part of the boxes. I also put some crystals in each edges to suit for the theme. I add the to-do list in the lower right part of the calendar in a vertical manner. Creating a calendar with the presence of the crystal just gives me to feel the theme even more. I put a shade of the sky blue and light blue from Sunday to Saturday alternately. Now, the calendar is slowly showing its image like a real one, but it is not yet finished. We need to put the days. I made small sky blue circles in each box corner to put the numbers on it. They have 31 days in the month of October. Isn't it very fun playing it as doing this wool journal? Because for me, every time I am creating something, I always enjoy it. Giving all your best without you enjoying yourself doing it is just nothing seems you are just wasting your time and for this page let's have our habit tracker but first of all to remind you i am not recommending you to do this habit tracker if you wanted a fast version habit tracker page when doing it but if you really wanted to then go for it i have other kinds of format of habit tracker you can check it out from my other bullet journal setup I have 7 habits in my tracker, it includes anime, workout, clean, emails, youtube, instagram, and water. The color palette appears still the same, it is just the combination of sky blue and light blue. I also add up a simple crystal in the middle part where it have an empty space. It completes the habit tracker page. I use my micron pen colored in blue then black in the habit boxes which represent a small calendar. It fits the color of the theme. I shaded the box where it does not have a day for October. 
You can add other of your habits if you have more than from my list of habits in my tracker. All ends from anime to water habits. This page is for my mood tracker. I created different styles of crystals to represent for each day. The shade of it will determine my mood. And I have here 31 different crystals numbered. Spreading a bunch of crystals makes me give excitement to lay here showing how my mood will go on for this month of October. Creating the crystals enjoys me too. Why? Because I am creating it without thinking. It seems that my hand is going on its own creating different pieces of crystals just like how our moon goes on. And so here we go, my expense tracker. This is one thing in my bullet journal that is so easy to include. Here in my expense tracker, I only have three columns. It is for description, income, and expenses. The income will be on the positive column, while on the other hand, the expenses will be on the negative column. Of course, putting crystal on its edge fits my expense tracker theme, shading it like it used to be, and giving the table a simple drop shadow highlights the expense tracker table. Here we go to the next page, the page where we will be put RBG ideas. Yes, this page next to expense tracker will be RBG ideas. Nothing special here. I will just add a header or the title on the middle part of the page. And on its bottom part, I will create a crystal hub where a large volume of crystals are on it. This will only be a style of this page. A bunch of crystals, a bunch of ideas, hopefully. Now, let's get right into it. This is the page for our weekly spreads. I made a huge collection of crystals in the middle of the page. I find it really cute and beautiful. The crystals in the middle is just a style to serve as the center of my weekly spreads. Adding some sparkling around it makes it look good even more, even if it does not have yet a shade of colors. And now, Let's put the color where the crystal will shine, the perfect combination which I prepared. I don't know why, but I colored the sparkling sky blue. <laughs> but it is not that bad, right? Or maybe just for me, I don't know. Some of the sparkling is not just for decoration, it is also a pinpoint to each day boxes. It is from Sunday to Saturday. I've used my blue pen. To the boxes outline i give space to the box where i will put the name of each day it goes the same respectively adding drop shadow colored in sky blue to each box makes it embossed and weekly spread in the two open pages really looks great a pages that really looks have a crystal in it open page the two pages I really love this. I really love how it turns out, the crystal in the center, and all about this secret spell for this month. I love it. And this is the last part of this bullet journal setup. This is the part where I always put up a single code that always in connection with the theme. And for this month's creation, here it goes. Life is always rocky when you're a gem. I hope you like how I used to write this month's quotation in the apparent format. Putting the color theme as a border always ends up my page. And now it's totally done. Let's have a look back to our October setup. Having our weekly spreads, trackers, and editorial calendar after its cover in a crystal theme. And that's all guys and thank you for watching this video. I hope you like my crystal team for this October bullet journal setup. Bye bye, take care.